under session 1 uh, vocational skills uh, and that is uh, word processing okay under the word processing introduction to word processor fine so these are the things you are doing all right so now what is actually a word processor a word processor is an application software which is capable of creating editing saving and printing documents fine so the thing is that uh, printing documents so a word uh, a word processor should never be confused with a text editor notepad is actually what what the notepad you are doing notepad does not give you all the facilities as a word processor is providing you okay because notepad only you can keep a note in it because you cannot do uh, you, you are restricted from doing the uh, what you call uh, the uh, different bit, uh, formatting you cannot do the merging you cannot process any image over there and, uh, and which is possible in word processor okay so we are having out here microsoft word we are having the uh, open office writer okay so many other word processors are also over there so it is actually a very powerful tool okay it is actually a very powerful tool when we are using a word processor we can make changes and illustrate the text also okay so several types of it is having a very strong sense of formatting we can process the graphics over there and we can do the merging okay so what are these features let us see once okay then we will open microsoft word okay and uh, you can see the screen right now and we will do the practical on Microsoft Word, you will see the different parts of the word processor that we are going to do right now. Okay, so an important features of a word processor is what? It is uh, it is very easy to do and it is very speedy. It is having the editing features. It is having plenty of formatting features. If you don't understand, you can ask me. Storage features is also there. Graphic processing features are also there. Printing features is also there. It can have an unique facility provides us a unique facility of uh, providing dictionary it is having an inbuilt dictionary spell checking everything mail merge feature is also there which allows us to send a piece of text to the different addresses or the different places okay and Whaley Whaley means object linking and embedding so what are the popular word processor microsoft word open office google docs is also there that is internet based notepad and wordpad is also there but they are the desktop utilities they are not coming under the full fledged word processor and libre office writer is also there so these are the different types of word processors are also there now let us go i hope you can view the my screen pro uh, properly all of you okay <coughs> hello uh, okay, so now let's start the Microsoft Word. Okay, so two ways you can start the Microsoft Word. How could you start? You can start here by come to the start, or you can simply you can search program. So you can you can go for the Microsoft Word and click on it, whatever version you do have. Otherwise, you can press Windows and R key. Okay, from the keyboard, and this particular run box will come. Here you may type Win Word. Okay, and then click on OK. Fine, and then click on OK. So what will happen actually? then everything then your microsoft office 2000 sorry microsoft word 2007 or whatever it is whatever version it may have 16 uh, 10 whatsoever it will start okay otherwise what is the step step is start all programs microsoft office then microsoft word 2010 all right so these are the steps fine so now what is happening so it is opening here that is this is the microsoft word window you can see it nicely this is the microsoft word window this has been opened do you know the different parts of it this is known as the quick access toolbar and this is known as the title bar where you can see the name of the document onto which you are working okay that is the thing okay and what are the facilities been provided by microsoft word it can provide us few facilities what are those okay it it, it helps us in creating and saving document it can we can open an existing document from it we can edit and formatting document and we can preview and print a document these are the things can be done okay and this you can see out here this uh, this is actually a ribbon and these are the groups clipboard group font group paragraph group styles group and editing group we are having and these are the different tabs okay so under the tabs we are having the different groups and all the groups are having the um, all the groups are having different options fine so that is the thing okay mailings and one more group is there that is formatting that will be viewed only when you are inserting the pictures or you are want to crop the pictures or formatting the pictures fine that is the thing so here it is mailing here it is review and here it is uh, view okay so these are the different tabs are available into this thing okay so now let us see that okay so creation of a document okay so creation of a document how could you do so if you want to close this document what could you do is you can click simply over here 
Mm, and this is the save icon. This is called quick access toolbar. Okay, this is called quick access toolbar. You can customize also if you want to add new. Okay, so you you can new options will be added out here. So in this way you can you can if you are just uncheck this one, this one will be removed. Okay, quick access means from where you can easily access over here. Okay, that is the thing. Okay, if you want to undo redo, if you want to remove, you can do the same. Okay, so nothing has been done. That's why it is showing dehighlighted. Okay, suppose you want to open a new document, you can do three things. Okay, what could you do? You can go in this particular area and you can open a new document, or you can press Control N. So a new document will be open for you. Okay, already a document is opened for me. Okay, that is the thing. Hmm. If you want, you can close it also. Okay, you can close it also. Okay, so it has been closed. Okay, so what has been closed? Microsoft Word has been closed. You can reopen in the similar fashion. It gives us a very um, uh, faster access. You can open very fast. You no need to search Windows R, then type Win Word into it. Fine, that is the thing. So now see, I am typing something. So a document has been opened for me. Document three is the default name has been given to me, uh, given to this particular document. So just I am typing something. Okay, the, uh, so what is the thing? I am just typing. Um, uh, uh, the word application. Okay, suppose I'm typing the word application. Application opens uh, opens a blank document. Okay, blank document um, with the okay temporary name. Temporary name document one because we have already opened two three document. That's why it is not showing document one and two. It is showing straight away document three. All right. It looks like what? It looks like a sheet of paper sheet of paper okay and it uh, occupies occupies what and it occupies most of the space sorry uh, most of the uh, space on the screen okay clear most of the screen fine acha next is the small small blinking blinking uh, the small blinking vertical line vertical line uh, that you notice that you notice on the screen uh, on the screen is uh, known as the insertion point what is that that is known as the insertion point all right or cursor insertion point or cursor all right insertion point the spelling is wrong so whenever some spelling is wrong you can right click on it you will have the instant uh, the f um, spell checking facility will be displayed so you can simply replace the wrong word with this point okay so the cursor okay or cursor full stop no now what we do this this is a document has been created so what could you do it you can easily save it by using control s or by using simply click on the save icon in the quick access toolbar or just simply save okay so this is for the first time saving next time if you want to save in with the same document with another name you have to use the option save as okay file save as all right so it is showing us just that it is um, it, it is saving so where it will be saved it will be saved under the documents unless you are not selecting any directory all right that is the things so where it is being saved so the first line has been taken as the name so we will not take this one so you will just give a name of it okay say I am giving this my documents, uh, my doc1. Okay, uh, I am giving this name, so it is being saved as documents. And where it is being saved, it is under the saved under the documents directory. Okay, under the documents folder. This is the default location. Location, fine. And save as tab is what word document, fine. And if you want to save it something else with, then you can choose this one from here. It will take you right over there. Okay, or in the downloads you can take, or you can see the documents also. It will come over here. Okay, under the documents only. Fine. So what we do? We are just saving it. So in this way, what is happening? We will be able to save it. What is the keyboard shortcut? Keyboard shortcut is Control S. All right. Keyboard shortcut is Control S. So in this way, you will be able to create a document. Fine. Okay. So that is the thing. So so in this way, you can save the thing, save the document. And if you want to open a document, you can also. Click on over here and save as what it does. You can uh, you can save the same document. Save a copy of the document is clearly written. Same document. If you want to save it with some other name, you can use the save as option. That is the difference between the save and save as. For first time saving, you can use save and save as both. But for the second time when you save the same document with another name, you need to use what save as. Fine. That is the thing. That is the way you need to. Uh, that is the way you need to do. 
clear so uh, this is actually this is actually how to open uh, sorry how to uh, create a new document and to save it all right saving a document that you have seen so what are the steps if you are doing save as first of all you can click on it and the save as dialog box will appear you have to give a proper save this is the save as dialog box you have to give a proper name suppose i am saving it now with document 2 okay the same document by using save as i am clicking on save then what is happening it has been saved okay with the uh, with a new name called uh, uh, doc 1 uh, sorry my doc 2 all right that is the thing hmm that is what the saving the document okay so what is the difference between save and save as save as actually for the first time saving it gives us the opportunity to save with a unique name and what does the save as do the same file uh, we can save a copy of it with a different name clear all right so now you see out here how can you set a password or to mo or to modify a document suppose now I, I have already saved this one i want to set a password for it okay so what should i do i should go for now save as all right so i, I will go for click on save as simply okay now you see i want to save a file save this file with a different name but with a uh, password okay so what will you do after doing this one you have to go to the tools okay in the tools you will find general options all right so click on general options it will provide you a place password to open and password to modify fine so now say i am giving the password a b c d one two three four okay similar thing i am giving out here a b c d one two three four okay and read only recommended if you check then whomsoever will open they can only check it uh, read it they cannot modify okay so i am keeping it unchecked okay so i am clicking okay so one more time you have to give the same password do you follow students hello do you follow how to give the password very important steps you see yes, ha huh, 1 2 3 4 click on okay ha huh, and then again you give a b c d same password huh? 1 2 3 4 once prompted then i am doing the same thing again click on okay fine now i am saving it in the form of my doc 3 click click okay now see i am closing this one so all i had saved where in the my documents now i will try to open this one from the my document and see how the uh, how the things are being opened fine so i'm just closing this one okay um, uh, uh, clicking on uh, clicking on the close button okay these are already been saved and what we are doing i'm just opening the my documents okay so clicking on documents so what will happen documents will be opened once again okay that is the thing <coughs> just a minute just a minute just a minute huh? okay fine so now what is happening i have to go for the my file so what my file name starts with m so i will just press the uh, alphabet m from the keyboard so it will take me to the m place where the m so m master all are there it will be nearby somewhere so you see my doc one is there you see out here my doc one when i am opening what is happening it is straight away opened yes or no it has been opened straight away that you can observe now you see my doc two will also have the same fate okay huh okay just i'm closing this one i don't need this one okay now you see i am trying to open my doc three okay i'm trying to open my doc three all right now let's see what is happening okay my doc three you see what is happening then you will be come to you will come to know all right that is the thing so you see out here office word 2007 okay my version is quite low actually but still all the options are available okay so you can work with the same manner in your uh, current version of word see it is as prompted for the password now if i don't give the password it you, you cannot open it so a b c d one two three four i will provide okay if i providing a wrong password it will not be able to okay so if i'm giving this one wrong password say uh, click on okay it has simply it, it will simply deny wrong password okay it is not opening clear so that is the thing huh. so you have to give the correct password so in this way you can protect your document okay and one thing you need to remember your password nicely if you forget then <laughs> you have to um, you have to work a lot to recover the password that is there okay that's why you give a password so it will be easy to remember and nobody can guess it also okay that is the thing so in this way what is happening you see out here okay how these things to be done now what's the password i had given a b c d and one two three four all right that is the thing and click on okay 
if you are sitting in a PC, you can practice right now only. All right, boys. What I'm saying, do you get? Okay, if you are if you are sitting in a PC, you can practice it. You can share the screen. I can you can show me also. Okay, so you will be able to learn it. Regarding the formatting practical, I had given another YouTube link. Okay, and this particular class, the live class, I will record. I am recording in uh, YouTube, and I will upload it later. Okay, that is there. Okay, but the thing is that this particular utility you should know. Okay, अच्छा first let me finish once uh, with the other thing. Okay, now the thing is that another thing important aspect of saving that I am showing you. Okay, you see it very minutely. Okay, don't go anywhere. Don't do any other work right now. You see it properly. So what is actually the things? Now suppose this one I had already typed. This is the existing in my document. Fine. Now what I see. what i do i have added okay i have added some part in it that is to close a word i'm just writing this one okay to close okay to close i'm just increasing its size a bit little bit okay so it will be easier for you to see okay so just by clicking on it okay this is thing on it or uh, this is the thing okay okay so you see this both the parts are not all the uh, all the size are not even so you can click on justify so it will be even okay that is the thing okay so these are all there in the formatting part i am not going with that one okay right now what i am doing i am doing this one okay uh, okay so to close uh, to close a word document what i need to do word document okay word document click on click on the file tab okay file tab okay and Uh, select select the close option okay what is the thing select the close option fine this is the thing clear okay this one i have added now at this stage what i am trying to do i am just trying to close it okay see boys this is entirely entirely what entirely practical steps if you remember you can write in theory also that's not a problem see it is showing me do you want to save the changes yes no cancel three things are happening happening so if you click on yes what will happen if you click on yes what will happen yes means it may change uh, it, it may change they are previously it used to come save don't save and cancel cancel if you are doing you will remain over here only you cannot come out fine so now if you are clicking on yes then the existing document will up be updated and if you are clicking on no then what will happen you will be exit means the ha ha the ex, the updated portion will not be saved okay that is the three things may happen when you are updating so if i am clicking on no and next time when i am trying to open this one i may not i will not find the portions that i have added ha huh, that i had added all right that is the thing ha huh, that i will not able to find it okay you see the second time when i am opening i will not be able to find it clear understood Let's see once. Okay, so it is asking the password A B C D one two three four. Okay, then clicking on. Okay, fine. Okay, all right. So now again A B C D one two three four. Fine. Okay, clicking on. Okay, all right. Now you see out here. This is the word application opens a blank document. So whatever is there, so you see whatever I had added, whatever justifies justified, and the uh, I had increased the size of the font that has not been appeared anymore. Okay, ha huh, clear. so that is the thing so if suppose now if i am adding to close okay to close a word document okay to close a word document okay click on click on the what click on the uh, file tab click on the file tab and select the what close option okay select the close option now i have added what i have done i am increasing sorry to close is having the to close only <laughs> they have become to close all right so i am just adding this particular portion i am changing a bit of formatting i am doing i am making the justified also so now what i do i am trying to close it what i have done now i am doing yes all right so what will happen it will save the changes and exit fine so no means don't save the changes but exit cancel mean you will not be able to close it neither you can close it or not you will be able to come out now that this is the third time that i am opening this one now you see uh, how uh, how the ch how the change how, uh, what will happen okay what are the changes uh, you may uh, you may um, uh, watch okay that is the thing so now you see again i will give the password over here because whatever changes i have done i have done it in this particular file only i am providing the password okay now next what i am doing okay a b c d 1 2 3 4 okay so i'm what i'm doing i'm clicking on okay clear now you see 
what is happening now you see what is happening see whatever a modification we had done it has been saved yes do you understand hello boys do you understand and how to give you the password how to give the password once more uh, how to give the password once more i am showing you showing you go to file save or save as because you cannot go to the save save as i am going okay clicking on save as okay then you need to remember this particular area just a minute this particular area okay so where will you go tools remember tools and this but general options okay general options if you click then what will happen it will give you the place to provide give the password over here as i have given if you want to remove you just delete it okay from here if you want to remove nothing will happen update it okay click on okay uh, okay clear and then save it once more okay save it once more over here okay so and close it and uh, already you have saved now you open try to open it okay now next you will see that it is opening without any hassle no it is not asking any password as such okay that's what the thing uh, actually i want to mean for okay that is the thing you see no password will be prompted right now since it has been removed so in this way you will be able to add the password and you will be able to remove the password okay clear and uh, here at the end of this chapter ha huh, pardon say say hello hello yes sir ha huh, okay acha the thing is that um, ha huh, bolo say 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 you want to know something do you want to know something okay fine okay okay fine all right so the thing is that one more keyboard shortcut to be um, open uh, keyboard shortcut to be um, uh, noted down that is the alt f4 alt f4 is the keyboard shortcut in order to close down a uh, uh, ms word document in order to exit uh, okay so it is cancel it is coming uh, alt f4 yeah uh, alt f4 you can uh, choose okay uh, to in order to close a uh, word document fine that is also there hmm alt f4 all right so that is the way to uh, this is uh, that is the way to um, um, uh, do the things uh, you need to you need to uh, save a document with the help of a um, um, uh, to assign password to your document clear that is the thing okay so um, uh, this one actually uh, today i had uh, instructed you and you must do its practical specifically specifically the password one okay rest of the things you know and by the time okay if you want to open any document you can press control o okay and you can simply click on open okay from there if you want to open any file which you have saved earlier that can be opened and control n is the keyboard shortcut in order to open a new document suppose if i want to if i want to do this document uh, if i want to open any document from here say my doc 1 okay so i'm just click on it and then i will click on open fine okay so it will be opened in front of me okay so that is the way to do clear so i have taught you today what opening a new document further furthermore opening microsoft word what is word processor okay and uh, these are the things saving a document okay and uh, how to set the password for a document all these things and now next time what will you do next what will you do you will see at the end of your book there are seven questions okay you just write it in your copy okay and note it down in your copy and uh, keep it with you when the school will reopen i will just check it out these are the five questions has been given as your home assignment okay that is what is word processor what is the difference between a text editor and a word processor okay name three popular word processors and what are the options to save a document okay and how can you set a password to modify a word document these questions are there at the end of your chapter so you must do this um, uh, uh, seven questions okay from here all right date wise you can note it down clear hello students do you get me many of you are having books okay if you don't have the books i am giving you the assignment i am just posting the assignment from here so um, this one you can uh, you can uh, you can do just a minute this is class 9f i believe 9f okay just a minute if you don't have the book so you can do this assignment once just a minute
Hmm. These are the probable questions that you can. Hmm. Okay. Ah, homework. Okay. Homework. This one is the your homework for IT. Huh. This one you can note it down. Clear. So these are the things that you can do easily. Hmm. And note it down in your copy. Okay. Understood, students. What I need to do? What you need to do? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So. This after this and and one more thing that I had what more I have uploaded that is uh, that is there um, that is another YouTube link okay so that is for formatting of word processor okay in the next class I will explain that one uh, to you okay so it will be over uh, then uh, a lot of things will be done in that case okay that is the thing fine okay boys then you practice this one and try to do it effectively huh practice it again and again so you will be an expert okay. Understood?